Hi, I'm Barbara Renner, and I write children's picture books about Quincy the Quail. And today, what we're going to do is write a story, and we're going to use certain elements of writing a story called the five W's and an H. And I'll tell you what that means. The five W's answer the questions, who, where, when, what, why, and the H answers the question, how. So we have, I have a worksheet here that shows you what these questions are. Who is the main character? Where does the story take place? When does the story take place? What is your character's problem? Why do your characters do what they do? And how is the problem solved? Now, every good story has these elements in order to make it interesting and fun to read. So we're going to look at one of my books, Quincy the Quail and the Mysterious Egg. And I'm going to read the first page, which answers the question, who, where, and when. Quincy the Quail and his mate, Quella, admire their new home. I can't wait for our eggs to hatch. Quella sits on the grassy nest. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Quella shakes. What's that sound? It scares me. All right, we're going to answer the first three questions of our elements of the story. The first question is who is the main character? And the main character is Quincy the quail. And here he is right here. He's a special kind of quail. He's called a gambles quail. And gambles quail live in the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert is an area that covers the southern part of Arizona and the southern part of California and goes into Mexico. So that answers our next question is where does the story take place? It takes place in the Sonoran Desert. Then the next question we're going to answer is when does the story take place? And since Quincy and Quella have just laid their eggs, Quella's laid the eggs and they are nesting, birds nest in the springtime. And so when does the story take place? It takes place in the springtime. Now I'm going to point out this Sororo cactus. Sororo cactus grow in the Sonoran Desert. I'm going to summarize the book for you so that we can answer the next questions in our story elements. So Quincy and Quail hear a sound and they are a little worried about the sound and here they are by their nest. Then all of a sudden, a big egg plops down next to their nest. Quincy really doesn't want the egg there because he doesn't want it to bother their own eggs, so he tries to move it. Unfortunately, that does not work, and so he's wondering what to do with this big mysterious egg. So he decides, we will keep this egg warm because we want to see the baby hatch. So they take turns keeping the egg warm by wrapping their wings around the egg. Then their chicks hatch, so they have all their little quail chicks and they've hatched, but the big egg still has not hatched. So Quincy and Quella keep it warm and it starts to crack open. And what do they find? Well, all of a sudden, a baby owl hatches. And this makes Mr. Owl very happy. Here's Mr. Owl, and he thanks Quincy and Quella for keeping his egg warm. The quail made a friend with an owl. So let's go through our worksheet now to answer these questions. So we know the who and the where and the when. Now we're going to answer the question, what? 
What is your character's problem? Well, the problem is the big mysterious egg that plopped down next to their nest. And why did your character do what they did? Quincy wanted to move the egg, but decided to keep it warm. And why did he do that? He wanted to see what baby will hatch from the egg. And then the last question is, how is the problem solved? The problem is solved by Quincy and Quella keeping the egg warm by wrapping their wings around it. And in the end, they made a new friend. I would like for you to write a story now using these five W's and the H in order to answer some questions. And I have a really cute video for you to watch. It was shot by Maggie Lineberry Photography, and it shows a covey of quail or a family of quail scratching in the desert for food. And in flies a sparrow, and the sparrow wants to eat some food too, but one of the quail shoes them away. Now, after you watch this video, be thinking about the answers to these questions, and then you're going to write your own story. Well, what I would like for you to do is write a story about that video using the five W's and an H. And after you write your story, I would love to read it. So you can email it to me through my website using the contact form. And you can find my website address in the description below and also on the last slide. And when you send in your, your story, I will send you a coloring page of Quincy and also read your story on my YouTube channel. So subscribe so you won't miss any of the future videos. And thank you for watching.